I'm worth a Dion, Dion Put some Louis on my body Let that nigga where he at Cause he moving kind of wacky I'm worth a Dion, Dion Fendi shoes on my car Hey dolls, welcome back to a new video. Yes, I know, it's been three months and... Let's just say I came out of hibernation. Let me stop. So welcome back to a new video, guys. I'm so excited because this is a video that is very much needed. And it's something last minute that you're thinking of. Don't get me wrong, I know. I know it. I know, I know it. I know some businesses out there. Y'all know y'all just trying to get everything together for Black Friday last minute and it's been, you know, hectic. So I'm here to give y'all guys a few tips that can help you and trust me, ladies. You need to watch this video. If you're new, make sure you like it, like this video, subscribe, and yeah, comment down your ideas below. Any of these um suggestions that I'm telling you guys, let me know down below. So, all right, we got the fire screen working in the background. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to have some type of aesthetic, like... A nice background we got the new sweatsuits about to come out you know packages i gotta ship today so i gotta hurry up and record this video so yeah so before we get into the video i want to show you guys this gorgeous super cute sweatsuit i got on it's from a company called the x go and they sent me this pink sweatsuit and it is so pretty y'all the way my camera's set up i wish i could show everything let me let me show y'all this is how the hoodie fit on me and then, as you guys can see, it says goat on the back. I just need a little bit more booty so that goat can stick out. Shipping is two to five days. My sweatsuit came extra quick. Okay, y'all, I was like, wait, I, my, my sweatsuit came in like two days, actually. Because I live like, wait, I'm expecting a package. I got my package super fast, felt like I got it the next day. Pants are super thick and comfy. Like, you know, once the season is here, it's about 30, 40 degrees outside where I'm at, at least. And these are super comfy. I love them, the material. And I love how the sweater is, like, not so... Probably because I'm little. But I like how the sweater, you get more room in it. Like, more snuggle room. Make sure you guys use my promo code ANNADOLL for 50% off. Yes, honey. ANNADOLL for 50% off. The website and everything will be linked in the description box below. Make sure you check them out. They are a small black business. Love, love, love. We love that. And also, guys, if you want me to promote your item, whether it's on YouTube or whatever, Instagram, definitely email me in this email right down here. I haven't done Black Friday shopping in a while, but ever since I had my business, I've been shopping for my business. I've been waiting to receive some black friday customers i haven't been the black friday customer lately if you know what i'm saying so yeah um yeah black friday i feel like so special for small businesses be the biggest amount of sales they get for black friday you know you never know who may be blessed okay number one okay alert your viewers early now it's probably too late this video is probably i'm uploading this video the day before thanksgiving so you should have been <laughs> alerted to your customers, you know. That's some new products, okay? Black Friday coming up, drop some new products, whether it be a new lip gloss, whether it be a new sweatsuit, a new top of sign. Drop something new. Also, a good thing to do is that if you're dropping something new, make sure it will only be available for Black Friday. Only if you want to. But that is a great, great marketing technique, okay? <laughs> Having something brand new and it's limited edition, you can only get it this day or no other day. Maybe it'll come back. You don't know. Ain't so much sales, but you can also lose a lot of money if you understand what I'm saying. So that's what going in, know how to profit your stuff. Don't go crazy and think you can afford 60% off all your items, okay? You do know you have to re-up. You know you have to profit. You know shipping, taxes, all of that stuff counts. You have to take out. So... If you're having a sale, make sure this sale fits your budget. Make sure you can control this sale, okay? Don't have a sale and you're getting so much orders, you don't know how to control it, you don't know what to do. Don't undersell, know your worth. Basically meaning you don't know your worth for your products. Don't, if you know your product is worth this much, do not discount at such a lower price that has no value. You're underselling yourself. So make sure you don't do that, guys. Make sure your product is worth the price. Make sure you're getting the right profit that you deserve. Also, make your sales exciting. For example, for my sale, um, I'm doing 50% off for the first hour, so 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. Oh, stay tuned for that inner dolls world. So my Black Friday sale, I'm doing 
50% of the whole site from 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. And then the rest of the day is 35% off. And then I also have like, you know, a cool Cyber Monday sale as well. Stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's just kind of example to show you guys. Um, You don't have to make it like mine at all. I'm not saying mine is, is a popping way, but it's just something I cre creatively made myself. So stock up. If you're a business that do pre-orders, you know, customer order signing, you got to make it or you got to order from your vendor, Make sure you stock up. Um, if you haven't saved up enough money to stock up and you're doing the pre-order method, then um, make sure so your customers are alert that they will have to wait you know, a few days for the product to come. Oh, email marketing. Email marketing is very important. You need to send all your sales to your customers. This should be a daily thing you guys should be doing, email marketing. You know, your returning customers is probably gonna be your top customers, okay? Them customers that know you by your name, okay? Those are your returning customers. They're gonna be your top customers because they're gonna love your company so much. They're gonna tell everybody and everybody gonna be like, ooh, who you got that from, who you got that from? And they just gonna be so confident and just love your brand so much because of your great customer service, how every time they receive a product is what they want. It's more than what they want, you know, it's popping. So make sure you head to that email list. A lot of my returning customers is my top customers, by the way. We're gonna go into how to make your website gain more sales. A lot of y'all probably getting so much traffic and no sales. Like your traffic to sales ratio is not adding up. Like, weird. So this is to help you guys. Honestly, people love great websites. Look at this for example. A person. All right. Say you have a you have a you have a store. They will walk past your store if it's not appealing, if it looks empty, if it looks boring, or if nothing is nice on a mannequin, they will just walk right past it. Except if they, they won't walk past a store that has, you know, the mannequin is nice, it has a cute outfit on, you know, it's a cell on a window, you know, everything just look nice, it just look professional, it looks like a great store you want to go into. Same thing for a website. If your website is not appealing, hey it's not gonna bring in much so these are apps now this is this will only apply to if you have a shopify website not sponsored but i feel like shopify is the best best website platform you can get shopify is 30 dollars a month and basically shopify offers a lot like they tell you um what your viewers are searching for i mean they tell you what your customers are searching for like when you go on a website and you type in a certain in a search bar they will tell you what the customer is searching for like that's crazy they will show you um customers that didn't make a purchase in a while um they will just show you everything that you need to know in order to you know grow your business these are the apps on shopify to use to make your website pop and also will help you with black friday as well like if you add these apps on your website before black friday listen you're gonna see a difference and if you don't you better tell me First app is Instagram highlights. I know y'all go, the first time I, uh, the first website I saw these Instagram highlights was the Boss Palace. And I was like, wow, the website literally looks like an Instagram, look like I'm on Instagram. And I really liked that theme. It was very unique and it was very fun. It just made me want to just click on stuff just to click on it. But um, yeah, Instagram highlights. So you can add Instagram highlights to your website. All you gotta do is go to apps, go to Shopify, they recommend apps, but if you don't see the Instagram highlight app recommended, you can search it in and install it. Basically, pretty simple how to set up on your website. You don't need to be an expert at all. You literally just need to answer a few questions, boom, it's on your website. I find that so fun. It's on my website as well. Also shows your Instagram post on the website as well. So that is something very cool, y'all. And it also give you more exposure because person coming to your website and they may not know your um, business Instagram. See it on the website, click on it. Ooh, 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 click on the highlights. Listen, I'm putting y'all on. Inventory tracker for Black Friday. Now this is where it gets fun. This is where it gets crazy. And basically it'll show how much of your products is left. So it's Black Friday. You know, customers going crazy. They only see that as one small sweatsuit. Honey, they're gonna buy that right away, okay? So this is a very fun app for Black Friday to just show your, to show the viewers, you know, what's in stock, what's about to go. And it also gives them a heads up. Like say if they like, oh, I want this, but I'm gonna come back in an hour for it, you know, whatever, then it's sold out. If you would have had the inventory tracking app, 
it would have said, oh, is one small left, two mediums left. He would have bought it on the spot. So this countdown app is so fun because I love doing it when I have sales. So I actually have this on my website right now. And basically it's counting down to Black Friday. So my sale starts at 12 a.m. And it's counting down and I just think that is so fun. And especially when a customer go on my website, not, I usually post my, my updates and everything on my business Instagram, but not everybody has Instagram. So if they just looking on your website, they will know that's a Black Friday sale coming as well. So I like that. It counts down to anything. You could edit there, you could say countdown to da da da, this sale, this sale. You can also change the font, the colors, and the picture. So. I love that. Another thing y'all guys probably see on other websites is a daily, I don't know the exact word, but basically when you go on, a web, go on your website, uh, it's like a whole bunch of pop-ups that keep popping up and it'd be like, David purchased a necklace, Mary purchased makeup, Mary just purchased this from New York. Like, yeah, so basically you're just showing all yourself. I encourage your viewers to make a purchase also, okay? Proof that people are actually buying your stuff. So I really like that too, but also can get kind of annoying. I had took it off because it just too much pops up and I actually had a customer like, oh, your website is doing too much. So I was like, okay, let me just take this off. Interesting Shopify themes. Now, I used to hate, I, I got tired of the basic things that were free that I came with. I don't have no creative control over it. As you can see my website, I love my website. Like, I don't even know. I probably would never change that format no i probably will but i just love it like it's just so fun just i don't know like it just giving me i don't know giving me everything but yeah purchase shopify things they do range from like 200 dollars 100 dollars so they're not really that um <laughs> cheap more creative control um of everything that was some of the tips i have for you guys for black friday i really wish you guys the best okay do not stress if sales is not coming in fast listen honey listen do not stress it okay just keep doing just follow these tips and honestly you will be great if you spend your look up look over here i don't think y'all guys can really see but if you spend your time anything like me like planning out stuff and you know just making sure, just grow your business, seeing where your weakness is at, seeing where your strengths is at. And you will be good, honestly. You will be good. You just have to be consistent, y'all. So I really hope these tips help you guys. Definitely comment down below. Um, your Black Friday sales, promote your business. Y'all might as well, right? Comment down your websites, comment down, you know, your Black Friday sale, link everything below, okay? Listen, <laughs> link everything below. So I love you doll babies all so much and definitely let me know what type of other videos y'all want to see, okay? Let me know. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.